I, I always do the first run through on easy. Fair enough. I'm not very good at shooter games. No, okay. And I'd rather enjoy it on easy than uh, get frustrated yeah. on normal. <laughs> I do it on medium. I went, am I the only one who went straight in on this on hard? Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think you plunged in. I did the first one on hard. <coughs> did you? Yeah. Oh, you saved data. Should I? Yeah, start a new one. Oh. You got the, for the hard drive space. I've got mm. 200 gig. Oh. I've upgraded it. Oh, <laughs> I say. Yeah. Shall we start the review? Yes. Hello, welcome to podcast number four of 60 Second Gamer. This is Uncharted 2. Joining me, Simon Pryor, are Rich Hassan. Hola. And Ant Tremaine. Bonjour. Who has uh, also done the review for the main game oh, or video indeed. review itself. Indeed. So, Uncharted 2. Game of the year? In a game full of games of the year? I, I, I would say yeah. it's yes. Yeah. With Assassin's Creed and Modern Warfare tailing very closely behind it. Uh, don't forget Batman. Oh, oh, yeah. oh God! <laughs> too many this year. I know, it, they've all crammed them in in like the second half of the year as well. Because I mean, it's all since like August. It's just been like new game, new game, new game. Wow, fantastic! Yeah. Now, uh, Ant has gone back to the very start of the game. You've completed it, haven't you? Yes, I have. It is as as I said in the review. Metal Gear Solid Four pushed games that one step closer to. Uh, films in in the way of it's just ingenious storytelling and I think we finally found the game that fixes the missing link between film and game yeah. it's reached that that point already I mean it's just I mean the the graphics are outstanding I mean I the first one was enough to make you go good lord but this one is just oh hello is just it incredible. really does push the PS3 yeah. to its limits doesn't it it makes you think good it's it's almost photorealistic. I mean, there are some. You get to a certain part. I can't remember. Can anyone remember where the hotel section is? Um, about. It's in Brazil, isn't it? It's in. No, it's in Nepal. Brazil. Nepal. Sorry. That's it. And some of the the backdrops are just. It's almost as though they. I mean, just looking at this level now. I mean, I'm climbing up the side of a uh, train car that's dangling off uh, the edge of. And you have a cliff and I've uh, just gone to swing and miss the train itself <laughs> and plunge to my death um, but the rocks and the snow are just in it's ingenious it really is just like why can't every game it's got like that sort of like film like uh, background quality you know where the background's not quite in focus yeah. but it is you get that when you yeah. look at the gun as well yeah like depth um, of field and yeah. everything yeah. And it really gives you like a sense of like being there in the game sort of thing yeah mm. and I mean the, the script and the storytelling and the acting is it's just phenomenal it, it is almost I mean Nolan is it Nolan North it is, is his name? He's, just, he's in every game yeah. ever at the minute <laughs> yeah He's he's just a fantastic actor. I mean, and he's a nice chap as well. Yes, yeah. so I've read indeed. He's which also helps. <coughs> well, it helps push things forward a bit. Yeah. One thing I didn't like about the story of this, whilst it is a very good story, I did think they were basically retreading what they'd already done in the first game. Mm. So mm. like the, the plot points, sort of like bum bum bum. Oh, you could have have a fight with the uh, the immortal guy at the end. You've got the fight with the uh, like the. Uh, I don't know what they are, the snow beasts Yeah. in this game um, compared yes, to the, yes. the first game with uh, with the, the zombie type uh, Spanish creatures. Spanish conquistadors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the, the the beats to the plot pretty much match what happened in the first game, but they do it better. Yeah. Mm. And uh, so much more cinematically and much more... Um, I don't know what the term is. Interestingly, I suppose. I mean, yeah. not that the first game was boring by any stretch of the imagination, but oh no, but it was a little too predictable. That's something I, I like about this one that I didn't in the first one was you'd walk into an area and go, hmm, these boxes have been strategically placed. I wonder what. Oh, there you go. I've been flooded yeah. with enemies. I mean, the uh, the thing about I find a lot about uh, first games is that it's usually 
I mean, again, Uncharted 1 was absolutely brilliant. It's the reason why I got a PlayStation 3, pretty much. Mm. And um, But the first games tend to be a case... Uh, Assassin's Creed, in particular, as well. Yeah. First game, sort of like... High concept. It sort of sets the concept in place. Yeah. doesn't quite refine yeah. the formula. Yeah. And then they come along with the sequel and sort of fix the th things that were broken in the first, uh, improve on areas where necessary. And uh, I think this is like a, a classic case of that as well. But again, it's, it's not comparing Uncharted 1 to Assassin's Creed 1 because there's, there's no comparison there. But uh, this is the sort of thing they've done. They've, they've made the story um, more, bigger. more thrilling, yeah, bigger. Yeah. Less like a Bond film, but <laughs> more like a Bond film, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, and less like Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones all sort of mixed into one. Yeah, I'm talking about it. It's more... So I was going to say, that was getting quite loud, yes. wasn't it? You're, that was getting louder and you were getting quieter. <laughs> yes. Start again. Um, it, it was less like a, a Bond slash Indiana Jones. It, it, even, even so, it's a lot less like Tomb Raider as well. Yeah, which, a lot which of people, helps. Yeah, because when the first game started having trailers a lot of people thought that it was Tomb Raider with a man yeah <clears throat> and it isn't this one has sort of taken Tomb Raider and God bless you Madam Croft but it has wiped the floor with Tomb Raider like a pair of snotty old knickers yeah so much so yeah. that they didn't even release a Tomb Raider game this year no, no. <laughs> I think they kind of realised their mistake with yeah, the, the poor must... cells of... oh the uh... snow the snow I mean, that's that's another thing the snow effects are, that's another breakthrough, I think. I mean, what better start to a game can you want from this? I mean, you've got oh. the uh, the weather having an impact on uh, Drake's clothes. You've got all the action that's going on as well. You're sort of trying to put the story together at the same time. Mm. You've got bad guys that you've got to shoot at here yeah. and there. It kind of does a bit of a Tarantino and starts from the middle and works its way yeah. towards it. Man. Yeah, and then carries on afterwards. It, all in all, I think it's 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 a breakthrough. I think because it's like games like this that push the boundaries, like Metal Gear Solid Four. To refer back to it, just they're they're the real games developers. Games that I do think. something new and interesting. Yeah, the ones that make new things happen. Yeah, I mean the, the sense of English is terrible. Yeah. But <laughs> it, the, there's there's oh here's your first visual clue. Oh, oh what yes. do I do with this padlock? Mm. It oh. even tells you what to do. Press L1 to aim and R1 well, to, to shoot. shoot. Mm. And alas, shoot it's... if you shoot the guy, a quick tip for those who are listening, the first level, after you shoot the first padlock, if you shoot aim up after you've opened the door, there's a guy with a treasure. If you shoot him down, he'll get the treasure. He's not, he's he's not, not falling. <laughs> shoot him. Okay, shoot his arm. It's on his arm. You'll get the yes. treasure. There we, there, go. there we go. He's there. He comes. Oh, there we go. Baldy's dropped. And you've got a little. Uh, I've got a. I have. It's a, a bet and snuff, snuff bottle. bottle. <laughs> of course. It's snuff to make you go mad. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. uh, but oh, my first. Uh, oh, that was a bit OTT. Never mind. But yeah, it is just. It's just. It's just it's just incredible. Well. It's worth the ten that I gave it. I think. It, <clears throat> If any game this year does, then this is it. I mean, I'd yeah. say Batman is quite a close contender for... Yeah. yeah. But I think Uncharted 2 does do a lot of things better. Yeah. I'd probably say Batman, when we do get around to reviewing it, is about a 9. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with this... I, I, yeah. I wouldn't give it a 10, because there, there are bits to refine, which they'll probably yeah. do in the sequel that's coming yeah. out next year. But, um, yeah, more on that next year, I think. Yes, but this is just... It gives you a full taste of everything really I mean you've got shooting you've got platforming and then at the same time you've got puzzle solving yes and Drake's witty lines thrown out. I mean some of these shots here just genuinely wandering around the level just it just feels cinematic you've got the snow time. coming in and yeah. this shot especially as well with a flaming carriage yes oh, fantastic it is just amazing it is pretty amazing that's the only word for it I think Oh, hello. I'm being thrown around quite violently. But, uh, yes, it it, it works. <laughs> Which a lot of games like this 
tend not to, but... Anything about the game engine and stuff like that you want to talk about? Oh. Or um, the story? Well, we've really, we've talked about the story. Uh, the story, yeah. The game engine, the, the game mechanics, anything mm. of that description? I'm, I'm going to do something that a lot of... That, that we haven't mentioned much in podcast. Oh, no, no. Well, mind you, you mentioned in Pixel Journey. The music yes. is... The score is just outstanding. I mean, I managed to get hold of the, the Scorch. I think he's... Oh, I can't remember who, who did it now. But again, it adds to the extra cinematic. I mean, it's done on a, a full orchestra as well, which is always a perk, in my opinion. And it just adds that extra cinematic feel to it. It's just... If they ever make a film of this, they would have to do it pretty damned perfect. It's in production hell as we speak. Yes, apparently Hugh Or Jackman. development hell, I should say. Yes. Apparently Hugh Jackman's rumoured to play... Uh, to play uh, our hero, but I don't yeah. know. He looks like him, that's about it. <laughs> Who knows? And just, just to think that the same people that made this game also made Crash Bandicoot. Yes! <laughs> the living legends that are Naughty Dog. What can you say? They are just... Oh, there's also a level. It's not just uh, shooting and and uh, platforming, as I said. It's it's also got an element of stealth added into it as well. Sometimes, which I don't, they don't really overplay too much. No. no, which they could have overdone to a dramatic level, but it's in there as an option. It helps. The, st one, the stealth levels, well, the stealth option helps, especially on higher difficulties. Yeah, um, doing it on crushing. Which I managed to uh, accomplish, and if you don't believe me, look at my uh, um, gamer avatar, whatever you call it, on the PlayStation. Yes, which uh, sure. we will have to advertise on the uh, the list as well for like yeah. for people to uh, to follow us on uh, yes. and be be our See friends. Our gaming exploits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, <clears throat> the bit when you finally get round. Obviously, the the train bit at the beginning is events in situ. Uh, and you work up to that as you play the game. Very uh, Tarantino-esque uh, plotting, yeah, as mentioned. Yeah. And uh, you end up fighting a, a, a big amount of people, but uh, you work out the roots and stealth attack them and whatnot. Uh, Are you stuck? Um, oh, no, no, no. Just, no, I was just being a, a bit of a div, that's all. Never mind, sorry. <laughs> so he's just sat there waiting for you. Yeah, well, he can wait for me, the, the Cockney geezer. Oh, that's a thought. There's there's uh, new, new characters, as well as I mentioned, who are... Who are from the old uh, land and yes, town? The, the Brits. Have, uh, I know. That's another thing as well. If you get stuck as well, it gives you a, a hint, tint. Uh, a tint. A tint. A tint. A tint. Yes, gives you a tint on a. <laughs> it's a teasing to, uh, hint. Yes, teasing hint. How to get up to uh, your your uh, objective, and it's it well, it's. As I've said, I'm going to say it for about the fifth time in this review. It is brilliant. <laughs> it's well worth just. I mean, they've already said Uncharted Three's on its way. Yeah. They've they've already started developing it, which has not shocked me in the slightest. Multiplayer. <clears throat> oh yes, the online on stuff. Yes, I've probably we briefly touched upon that in the review, but uh, you can have co-op with your mates and do certain certain little missions which I think is also very clever they they've put cutscenes together specially for the uh, the online co-op missions as well which is very it has a lot of production value to it whereas a lot of online stuff is just a case of you plow through little missions and they're just put together at the last minute but uh, this actually almost feels like you're playing an unseen element of the story that uh, they didn't put in the game <coughs> and you can generally just go online as well and have death matches with all and sundry from around the world and yep. it's it, it's it's quite fun actually isn't yeah, it yeah it is yeah i wasn't too keen on the look of it to start with and then mm. when i found out i had like the, the duck and cover sort of combat system that you use in the game as well it was like oh, actually that could work quite nicely because mm. there have been a few times where we've played it where i've been hanging off a ledge and someone's just run past and i've just shot them <laughs> and because i've been hanging off the ledge they just haven't seen me yeah it all works although now uh, people will be uh, wise to that tactic so, uh, <laughs> if you see someone dangling off a ledge shoot uh, him doing it's nothing probably yet. me yeah <laughs> dangling and waiting for you to uh oh it's telling tap, me to... Tap. you also get tapping uh mini games as well to activate uh <laughs> so i don't know doors or the, i i don't like the term mini game for stuff like that because it's like the uh the smackdown uh feature they they described the uh the button bashing element of the royal rumble 
as a mini game, and it's like, well, that's not a mini game. That's just bashing the buttons to, uh, yeah. to get someone um, thrown out. It, it adds a sort of extra... mini games to me are games where you like like Mario Party. That's a mini game. Oh uh, yeah, I suppose yeah. Well, it's it's an extra little feature to keep you. It's all in all, this this game ticks all the right boxes, and it. It's just, I mean... It's tasty. Yeah, it has every... Let's just say it's yeah, tasty. Yeah, it, ta- it is the right flavour. If we could eat it, then we would. Oh, many times over. Uh, Which would be a bit we, disgusting. Uh, and before we leave, um, we must pose the eternal question um, uh, about Uncharted 2, which is this year's model, Chloe, or uh, last year's model, Elena. I'm not getting. <laughs> I'm not actually getting involved because I'm, I understand I'm they're both fake. With, yes, I, I'm. I'm going to have to go with LA, uh No, oh, you've confused me. You've thrown me off. I'd. I'd have to say, Chloe, because she she has the accent. She has the British accent, which is always good. She has the sat nav voice, which is always, always a left. Bird. Yes. If I could have a sat nav, it would be Madame Chloe. You know, you can get a sat sat nav uh, with John Cleese's voice. Yes. It's an official one as well. <laughs> He's actually you have got to pay extra for QI as well, then. No, no. Oh, I've, just, I've, I've got a Tom Tom. I mentioned it on QI. Yeah. Uh, right, Margaret Thatcher. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, it's all good. So, uh, anything else that we need to talk about? Or if we. Uh, is that it? Do you think? I'd say that was probably about it. Uncharted is just down by the door where you came in. Yes, I'm trying to remember where that was. Thank you. Um, you can just follow the conduits. Yeah. All in all, it's oh hello. Oh. Unless of course you're like me and you're not very good at jumping around and missing stuff. Very, yeah. very spectacularly. And uh, it's if you just want a general action game that does everything that Tomb Raider, the that last you wish Tomb Raider, yeah, did that you do. wish Tomb Raider could do. Then it has, I mean, witty humour. I mean, it even makes you laugh while you're playing it as well. With the stuff he actually, that's that's so. something I forgot to mention in Assassin's Creed Two. The the free running aspect of it, annoying as hell if you get it wrong. Yes. Um, which I, I might throw this in the Assassin's Creed Two review. <laughs> yeah. I just performed a stealth attack on someone as well. Actually, no, stuff it. I'll leave it in this one. Yes. Why not? But yeah. Assassin's Creed Two. It gets if you get the the. The, the free running wrong then it, it's really 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 annoying whereas yes. in this there's less it, it feels like you, you're not rushing away from guards and stuff in this yeah. so you've got time to plan out where you're going so you, you sort of jump and then you stop and then you're like okay where do I go next mm. so again that's this is something else that it does well compared to uh, other games mm. uh, this Obviously. year yeah, it feels a bit more fluid which uh it's always a good thing, I'd say. I Cook. mean, you, the first one, I think it also, it made the, the sort of platforming mm. element work quite well. But uh, this one just perfects it, I think. And the third one, I can only imagine, is just going to be super awesome. It's going to be almost, I reckon that the graphics will look almost photorealistic in the next one, I think. I'm going to go as far as to say that, because they are damned near it in this one. <laughs> well, we shall wait, and we shall find out. Yes, in uh, no doubt a couple of years' time, because when, how long ago was it between this one and the first About one? Two years. Two years. Yeah. So I'd say in another two years' time, we'll have... Uh, Just in time for the end of the world. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Marvellous. <laughs> well, I'm going to die or die happy playing the Just third. in time for the end of the world this. slash Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Either way. All good. Target. The yeah. last Christmas rush of uh, ever. Yeah. It's all good fun. So, right then. Uh, I think we should all wrap it up there. Yes, indeed. Uh, Uncharted uh, 2. Well worth the, uh, the 10 out of 10 we've given it. And um, let's hope that uh, uh, a third sequel... Will be just a, a third game, game in the series, yeah. right? Second a second sequel, sequel yes. a third game, will be um, forthcoming. Forthcoming and similarly yeah. awesome. And they won't, they won't make. Well, it I, well, they won't do a Tomb Raider and go sour. No. If, well, <laughs> the thing is, if, if we do, uh, if they do release Uncharted three, and it's better than this one, do we do a Spinal Tap and crank it up to eleven? Yeah, but then you just run the risk of uh, if they do a fourth and that's really good. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, twelve. Like I say, let's hope they don't uh, do a Tomb Raider and go. Let's do 
ten thousand instalments and go Let's sour. Let's do one after. a year. Yeah, and go a bit sour after about the fifth instalment. What, what's <laughs> the difference between Tomb Raider one and Tomb Raider two? In Tomb Raider two, she has a ponytail. Yes. <laughs> In one, she just has a stump. That's it. Tomb Raider yes. two, they just gave her a ponytail. Oh, oh God! And then he got himself yeah. caught. So yes, Uncharted two, brilliant game, well worth your time and money. If you haven't got it, buy it. Yes, do buy it. I'd recommend it to anyone who enjoys gaming. And there's a bloke looking at me like he's just pooed himself. So it, it, it is well worth it. I mean, of course, you know, it's had a tough contender for game of the year, I'd say, against some of the, the games this year. But it is I think it just worth. pips it. Yes. Again, not, not, in, not in my opinion, not enough to make it the number one game, because I've still got Metal Gear 4 as number one. But it's a damn close contender for yes. it. Yes. So right then, we'll uh, wrap it up there. Thank you for listening, if you have been. This has been 60 Second Game of Podcast number four, and we will see you next time.